I would like to talk about the topic of self-sabotage, just because it was brought up numerous times from my audience. Um, no. So um, I'm very, very deeply invested in hacking. How can I personally stop sabotaging my happiness, my energy, my aliveness. So one thing that we are missing over and over again when we are going into process is a process somehow consists of two parts. First part is I break free from a pattern. And second part is I integrate this new freedom into my nervous system, into my system, into my everyday life. And if I miss this second part, then I somehow fall back as if there would have been no process at all. And then, of course, I end up being frustrated, blaming myself because I self-sabotaged my healing journey. So basically, our culture allows peaks, peak experiences It allows single situations of freedom, of bliss, of orgasmicness, of happiness, of full aliveness. But it doesn't allow, it doesn't cultivate a culture of integration. So basically, when you self-sabotage your healing journey in the middle of the race because you manage the breaking free and then you fall back mainly because it doesn't feel safe for your nervous system to stay with this higher level of energy. To be honest, to have a significantly higher level of energy than the rest of the pack around, the rest of your family, the rest of the collective, the rest of the society around, is the most dangerous thing that you somehow experienced as a newborn child because you were born with a lot of energy and somehow... You couldn't be tamed. You have been too much. And then conditioning, outer world, culture took over. And to some extent, your inner world collapsed with this constant invasion of outer influences that were contradictions to your inner aliveness. In that way, us cultivating with full awareness the second part of every healing journey is so important. And it's not only important for you to know, for me to know, for me to practice over and over again, because I might miss it, miss it if I just go into whoa therapy session, breaking free, and then rest of the day shitty as ever. I all, I have to take care, like as my own tiger mother for the second part of the process. And on top of that, you contribute something to the collective field of us not healing as individuals, but us healing as collective beings. Collective beings, collectively connected beings, and as beings who are way powerful enough in order to truly inherit another, a deeper, a more constantly being in bliss culture to the next generations.